Sylvester Stewart was born the second of five children in Denton, Texas on March 15, 1944. Raised on church music, Sylvester was eight years old when he and three of his siblings recorded a 78 RPM gospel single for local release as the Stewart Four. A musical prodigy, he became known as Sly in early elementary school because a friend misspelled Sylvester. By age 11, Sly could play keyboards, guitar, bass, and drums, and went on to perform in several high school bands. Sly's musical education continued at Vallejo Junior College, where he learned how to play the trumpet and mastered music theory and composition. In 1964, he started as a fast-talking DJ at a radio station. His eclectic musical tastes made Sly hugely popular. By 1966, Sly was leading a band called Sly and the Stoners. His brother Freddie was also leading a band called Freddie and the Stone Souls. A friend urged Sly and Freddie to combine the best of both bands, leading to the birth of Sly and the Family Stone in March 1967. Freddie took over on guitar as Sly quickly mastered the organ. Their sister Rose joined on keyboard and vocals. Their first album, called A Whole New Thing, was released at the very end of the year. While many people were excited by the music, A Whole New Thing did not hit the album charts. Advised to simplify his approach, Sly followed his musical instincts and released the new single, Dance to the Music, which became the band's first top ten hit. In 1968, they released a new song called Everyday People, which became their first number one hit. The Stand album arrived in April of 1969 and became the band's first platinum album, which means it sold more than a million copies. A new non-album single was released in August of 1969. Hot Fun in the Summertime reached number two on the charts and was followed by Thank You for Letting Me Be Myself Again, which reached number one in February of 1970. In 1971, Sly and the Family Stone released a new album called There's a Riot Going On. It contained the single Family Affair. Both the album and the single reached number one on the charts. Family Affair would be the final number one single of Sly Stone's career. Sly and the Family Stone continued working on music through the early 1970s and had their final number one album with 1973's Fresh. By 1975, the other members of the band had moved on, leaving Sly Stone to record music on his own. After the release of Ain't But The One Way in 1982, Sly slipped into seclusion and has only made a few public appearances in the years since then. A musical visionary of the highest order, Sly Stone carved his way into our American cultural fabric and then, with his work done, retreated. The music of Sly and the Family Stone went on to influence generations that Sly could never have foretold.